Chapter 12, Exploring the Oceans. Section 1, Earth's Oceans. Before you read, after you read this section, you should be able to answer these questions. What affects the salinity of ocean water? What affects the temperature of ocean water? How does density affect ocean currents? What is the global ocean? Earth has more liquid water on its surface than any other planet in the solar system. In fact, 71% of Earth's surface is covered by liquid water. Most of the Earth's water is found in its oceans. There are five main oceans on Earth. However, the oceans are all connected to each other. Therefore, scientists often refer to all the oceans on Earth as the global ocean. The continents divide the global ocean into five main oceans. The largest ocean is the Pacific Ocean. The Atlantic Ocean is the second largest ocean. It's half the volume of the Pacific Ocean. The Indian is the third largest ocean. The Southern Ocean extends from the coast of Antarctica to 60 degrees south latitude. The Arctic Ocean is the smallest ocean. Much of its surface is covered by ice. The figure below shows where these oceans are found. Describe what divides the global ocean into five parts. Here we see the continents. So I'm going to write continents. Take a look. Identify what are the five main oceans. Well, let's see, it's got them listed here in the reading. I see them down there in the picture as well. We have the Pacific, Atlantic, Indian, Southern, and the Arctic. Why is ocean water salty? Ocean water is different from the water that we drink. People cannot use ocean water for drinking because it's salty. Most of the salt in the ocean is the same kind of salt we use on our food. This type of salt is called sodium chloride. It's a compound made from the elements sodium and chlorine. Ocean water also contains other dissolved solids, including magnesium and calcium, which make the water taste salty. Salts have collected in the ocean for billions of years. As rivers and streams flow toward the ocean, they dissolve minerals from rocks and soil. The rivers carry the dissolved minerals to the ocean. At the same time, liquid water in the oceans evaporates to form water vapor. As the water evaporates, it leaves behind the salts that were dissolved in it. What is salinity? Salinity is a measure of the amount of solid material that is dissolved in a certain amount of liquid. It's usually measured as grams of dissolved solid per kilogram. On average, ocean water has 35 grams per kilogram of dissolved solids in it. This means that one kilogram of ocean water has about 35 grams of solids dissolved in it. If you evaporated the one kilogram of ocean water, 35 grams of solids would remain. Math Focus Three, read a graph. Which two elements make up most of the dissolved solids in seawater? All right, so let's see here. The big ones are chlorine at 55% and sodium at about 30%. Reading check. Identify where does most of the salt in the ocean come from? So since salt in this case is just dissolved solids, and it says here that the dissolved solids come from rivers that are carried to the ocean. I guess my answer would be from rivers. Effects of location on salinity. Some parts of the ocean are saltier than others. Most oceans in hot, dry climates have high salinities. In these areas, the hot weather causes water to evaporate quickly. Salt is left behind. For example, the Red Sea in the Middle East is very salty. The climate there is very hot and dry. Some parts of the ocean are less salty than others. Along the coastlines, fresh water from streams and rivers runs into the ocean. As fresh water mixes with ocean water, the salinity of the ocean water decreases. 
For example, the salinity of the ocean water near the Amazon River is much lower than the salinity in other parts of the ocean. Effects of water movement on salinity. The movement of water also affects salinity. Slow moving ocean water tends to have higher salinity than fast moving water. Parts of the ocean with slow moving water such as gulfs, bays, and seas are often have higher salinities. Parts of the ocean without currents are likely to have higher salinities as well. What affects ocean temperatures? The temperature of ocean water decreases as depth increases. However, the temperature change is not uniform. Scientists can divide the water in the ocean into three layers based on how temperature changes. These three layers are the surface zone, the thermocline, and the deep zone. Okay, so it seems like we finally have the answer to our first question. What affects the salinity of ocean water? Because here it says that location affects the salinity of ocean water. Most oceans in hot, dry climates have high salinities. And we see down here that the effects of water movement change salinity. The movement of water also affects salinity. Slow moving ocean water tends to have higher salinity than fast moving water. Reading check. Number five, explain. Why do oceans in hot, dry climates tend to have high salinity? Well, it says over here that hot weather causes water to evaporate more quickly. So, that would give them a higher salinity. Take a look. Number six, infer. The Gulf of Mexico is located between Mexico and Florida. Why is the ocean water in the Gulf of Mexico less salty than in other places? Well, we see that the effects here are location and movement. And location has to do with how warm it is. So I guess it's either cooler or the water moves faster. Reading check. Number seven, describe how does water movement affect salinity? Well, it says over here that the slower moving water is saltier. And if we take a look here, we'll see that we've got the answer to our second question. What affects the temperature of ocean water? All right? Here it says, what affects ocean's temperatures? The temperature of ocean water decreases as depth increases. So it seems like we have two big factors when it comes to ocean water, salinity and temperature. Surface zone. The surface zone is the top layer of ocean water. It's heated by energy from the sun. As the ocean water is heated, it becomes less dense and rises above denser, cooler water. Convection currents form as the water moves. These currents can move heat within the surface zone to a depth of 100 meters to 300 meters. Therefore, the water temperature within the surface zone is fairly uniform. Thermocline. The thermocline is the layer of the ocean just beneath the surface zone. Within the thermocline, the temperature of the water decreases a lot as depth increases. This is because the sun cannot heat the water below the surface zone. In addition, the warm water of the surface zone cannot mix easily with the water below. The depth of the thermocline is different in different places. It can extend from 100 meters to almost 1,000 meters below the surface of the ocean. Deep zone. The deep zone is the layer below the thermocline. In the deep zone, the temperature of the water is about 2 degrees Celsius. This very cold water is very dense. It moves slowly across the ocean floor and forms the deep ocean currents. Take a look. Number 8. Identify. How does warm water mix with cool water in the surface zone? 
Well, if we look in the reading, it says over here that it's those convection currents. Critical thinking, number nine. Predict consequences. What would happen to the water temperature in the surface zone if convection currents did not form there? Explain your answer. Well, obviously the surface zone would not mix because there's no convection currents, so it wouldn't have a uniform temperature throughout. The top would stay hot and the bottom cold because they don't mix. Changes in surface temperature. The temperature of water at the surface of the ocean is different in different places. Surface water along the equator is warmer than water at the poles. This is because more sunlight reaches the equator than the poles. Water near the surface at the equator can be up to 30 degrees Celsius. In the polar oceans, water at the surface can be as cold as negative 1.9 degrees Celsius. The temperature of water at surface of the ocean can also change during different times of year. Many areas receive more sunlight in the summer than in the winter. In these areas, the surface water in the ocean is warmer in the summer. Why does ocean water move? Salinity and temperature both affect the density of ocean water. The large amount of solids dissolved in ocean water make it more dense than fresh water. The higher the salinity of ocean water, the higher its density. Temperature can have a large effect on the density of ocean water. In fact, water temperature has a larger effect on the density of ocean water than salinity does. Cold water is denser than warm water. Therefore, cold water will sink below warm water in the oceans. The differences in density in the ocean cause water to circulate in convection currents. These currents distribute heat, water, and dissolved materials throughout the oceans. So, it seems like we finally found the answer to our third question, how does density affect ocean currents? We see that salinity and temperature both affect the density of ocean water, and then these differences in density in the ocean cause water to circulate in convection currents. Reading check. Number 10. Explain. Why is surface water warmer at the equator than at the poles? Well, more sunlight reaches the equator than the poles. That's why. Number 11. Describe. How does heat move in Earth's oceans? Well, just like we highlighted here, it moves in convection currents. 